Hi, Collicott kids. Hi, Cunningham kids. Hi, Tucker kids. Hi, Glover kids. Okay, today's project is painting with tea and coffee. And I'm going to use two drawings that I did in my last video. I drew a brown bear and a koala. So I'm going to use the tea and coffee to paint them. So to get the tea ready to paint with, you're going to have to heat up some water, put it in a little mug or coffee cup. And I put two tea bags into my mug so I could get the tea nice and dark. And then I heated it up. And then once it was all heated, I poured it into a little bowl like this. So there's my tea. That's the color of it. It's a nice brown color. And I also made some coffee in my coffee maker. And when that was done brewing, I put a little bit of the coffee in a bowl too. And this is actually, it looks like it's a, a darker brown color than the tea, but we'll see how it turns out, right? So you will also need some kind of drawings that you can paint. So you can do the drawings that I did um, in the tutorial for how to draw cartoon bears. That's what these bears are from. So you can do that tutorial, then you'll have two bears to paint with the brown, with the brown tea and coffee. Or you can draw something that you like and use that. So you'll also need um, a couple of paint brushes and of course a little bit of tea and a little bit of coffee. So I'm going to start with the brown bear first, and I'm going to use the coffee for him because I feel like the coffee, the brown of the coffee is darker than the tea, and I think I would like to do that on him. So I do a little bit of coffee on my paintbrush, and we'll see how it turns out. It's looking pretty light, actually. Now I'm curious what the tea would look like. if it would be darker, and I just mistook this for being the darker one, I don't know. I'll just keep going and see how it looks when I'm done. It's starting to drip a little bit. I'm just going to absorb it with a dry paintbrush down here. more coffee. I can smell the coffee too. Interesting. Use my dry brush to absorb some of that. I have my drawings at an angle so you could watch me paint. So that's why it's dripping down a little bit. So I guess he's a light brown bear. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to use some of the tea for the other parts of him, and I'll see how that looks. So here's the tea. It's a little bit lighter. Let's see. It's more of a yellowy brown. Hmm. Cool. All right, I'll do my koala with the tea, see how he turns out. Use a different brush. I like that big one that I had. Here we go.
Hmm. Right now I don't see a, a big difference between this coffee and this tea. The tea is a tiny bit more yellow in color. Maybe after it dries it'll be a bigger difference. But for now I just keep going. I'm going to leave his tummy, most of his tummy white. I'll do the inside of his ears coffee. So that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, you can try uh, painting with the tea if you have tea at home or with coffee if you have coffee at home. Um, if you don't have both, that's okay. Just experiment with one of them. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, something different to paint with, and I will see you in the next video.